So, um, hello, good morning. So, I'll be speaking to us on the complications of uh, urinary stones today. I was spoken about some of them yesterday, but today I'll be speaking on them more legislatively to explain how they come about. Um, the first one I would like to talk about is injury to the whole urinary ureter system. Now, when you have a stone, if the stone is lodged in the kidney, ureter, or in the bladder, now there is high propensity that if it's left untreated or if, if it doesn't go, it doesn't, you don't pass it out, it can cause an injury. It irritates the structures around that area and it gives you an injury. Now, that is the first complication. Now, some of those injuries can present with pain as the case may be. Then secondly, it present with the second complication I want to talk about, that's hematuria. Hematuria simply means blood in the urine. Now, when there is a stone, it gives the injury and it bleeds. For instance, if you have an injury on your hand, it bleeds. So the same mechanism happens when you have an injury within the urogenital system. So it bleeds. And when it bleeds, you notice that when you urinate that the color of your urine tends to change to red or pink, as the case may be. Depending on the level of the injury, will determine the amount of blood that you're going to pass out. Some people pass out frank uh, red blood. The white, some people pass out just minimal that changes the urine to pink. And that is the second complication. Now, thirdly, another complication is what we call urinary tract infection or UTIs. Now, what happens is that the stone, when it's lodged within the urinary system, it blocks urine flow. And when it blocks urine flow, what happens is that the urine collects the aristasis. And once there is stagnancy, even in the normal setting, if there is stagnant water, it breeds mosquito. So inside your body, if have any form of stagnancy uh, you're going to it's going to form a focus for infection and the person keeps having a recurrent infection you keep going to the hospital doctor have infection they keep testing you doing urinary microscopic for chances to and you keep having infection that's one of the complications now the third compl fourth complication i like to speak about is what well, hydronephrosis hydronephrosis simply means uh, there is dilatation of the kidney calluses and pelvis okay in layman's term the tubes in the kidney they tend to dilate and become bigger than normal. Now, what happens is that when stone lodges either in the bladder or in the ureter, it can block the normal anterograde uh, flow of urine that's from the kidney, ureter, bladder out of the body. So, when it blocks it, there tends to be back flow, a retrograde movement, back flow of urine back to the kidneys. And when they get there, it tends to enlarge the kidneys. Now, if the hydronephrosis that many create, if it's not handy, it can actually lead to kidney failure and uh, loss of kidney function, as the case may be. So, see, these are some of the common complications that we see with respect to kidney stones. So, tomorrow, we'll likely look at the, some of the treatment modalities for kidney stones. Thank you.